Al Green. Man, you are so bad. Up it is down. so good. You are. You turn that sucker out. Well, what a way to open the fun. show. We have fun. You we do have fun. have fun, don't you? Yeah. I really have to have fun in order to sing the songs like that. Mm -hmm. You can't sing a song like that faking. You got to be, you know, yeah. But weren't there any, ever any nights where you had to fake it? I mean, where you just weren't into it? Yeah, that was nights when I had to fake it. Mm -hmm. And then I had to act like I was having fun when I really wasn't not feeling well or something. Mm -hmm. Like you've been on a 26-night tour. Right. 
<laughs> but I bet the audience never knew it, did they? No, 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 no. Because, uh -huh. you know, you lit up the whole studio. I mean, I was sitting there grinning, and I looked at everybody, everybody was just smiling. All you saw was yeah. teeth. Yeah. Because you, there's something that you do that just know. lights up the whole room. What is it? Uh, well, I look at these diamonds up here. Oh, okay. I'm just grinning and grinning. <laughs> 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 no, but really, it's a certain <laughs> audience. <laughs> no, there's a certain charisma. There's a certain yeah. s something that you have to have naturally mm -hmm. that comes from within. That is a gift. I have to say that. That is a gift that, you know, yeah. Like, you, uh, Marvin Gaye cannot sing Marvin Gaye without really projecting that right gift, yeah. right and you put it out there and it comes back at you because the audience right. catches it and throws it back right. at you exactly and everybody loves it yeah oh you lit yeah. it up you can see that i mean when he came in you saw the way the audience oh. reacted to him and then you went out you met a lot of them i mean you just seemed so comfortable and i think yeah. when you give like that then they do give back as sherry was saying. Nah, i'm not a big shot so i like to go out and meet people and yeah. shake their hands and Hug folks and all that kind of stuff. You know, I got to tell you, when I was watching you do that, I was thinking, God, it would be so nice to see some of the younger acts that we see yeah. coming here sometimes. Okay. That feel like, you know, they come in with the bodyguards and they don't want right. to mingle with, you know, with mingle with the audience. <laughs> and then here comes, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm for hire if I can watch you perform every night. <laughs> but isn't that amazing? Now, I don't have any bodyguards. And we don't have five or six people that uh, one is in publicity, another one is your manager, and another one is a booking agent, and then five or six more is the bodyguards. We have an entourage. Right. No, I don't have any of that. Never did? No, no. We've had my father travel with me and my brother travel with me at one time. Yeah. And um, that, you know, that's you it. Just, you just felt that you didn't need it? I or you felt, didn't want it? No, I didn't want the big hoopla about things because I didn't think it was that big. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I didn't think it was necessary. I think if people love you, they love you for just for you. They don't love you because you got a bunch of bodyguards mm -hmm. and you're invincible. Yeah, right. But they love you just because you're you and yourself. Right. Now you yeah. seem like you're very, very, a good time. You're very, you're very <laughs> humble. You're very yeah. humble about everything, but you're, you're a famous, you're a celebrity. How do you feel about being a celebrity? Well, I don't feel that big. Uh, my uh, father always told me, never take yourself too seriously. Yeah. Just work. Do your work. You know, do your for the good times. And how can you mend a broken heart and you call me song? But don't get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe the hype. Yeah, don't, don't believe all the hype. That's right. People say, oh, how great, how great, how great. Oh, how great, how great. But don't believe all of that. Uh -huh. You got to understand where you come from, mm -hmm. especially we coming from where we came from. That's right. Right. We've got to understand that, that we don't need bodyguards against our own people, against all ourselves. Right. All right. All right. Because there's, there's so many people, I think, nowadays, young people who are artists, who do it just because they want that celebrity. They want the spotlight. They want yeah, to feel like... The status. Yeah. 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 yeah well, that sounds sound like you're about to go get your robe in a minute. It's <laughs> <laughs> sound like you're ready to preach in here. Well, I, don't, I think that's common sense, though, to me. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to be great in order to be great. You can do a great job mm -hmm. without thinking that you are so great. Yeah. Very true. Ah. Do you, has that contributed a lot to your longevity? The fact that yes. you've been here so long? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I, I'll tell you, I'm not ashamed at all to tell you that I've been singing at least since 1970. And this is 1996, uh, so that would be at least 26 years. Mm. Wow. Mm. So, well, yeah. <laughs> I think it was 60. Al, I, I think it was 69. I yeah. think I first heard you. Well, I'm well, just taking back for up granted train. 69. That's, uh, that's, that's my true. Was that true, your first song? That's my very first song, 1969. Now, right after that, the huh? race riot, we, when we done the backup train. That's right, because I got it free. I remember that's right. that. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I probably, somebody probably giving you one and they thought you were going to do something to them. <laughs> no, but this was right after the riots. And, um, and, 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 and so from 69 to now, we've been blessed to be yeah. where we are. Uh, and not always where we are. Work 
hard to get there, yeah. 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 Can I ask you a question? Yes, what made you decide to go into the ministry? Because you did that in 1974? Three, but I started the ministry in 1976. Now, what, okay. what led you there? Okay, I was brought up in the church, and I wanted to sing rhythm and blues. And I, I wanted to listen to Jackie Wilson, Sam Cooke, Otis Redding, da-da-da-da-da. I got thrown out of the house. Oh. <laughs> by my dad. Okay. If you're going to play that kind of music, you can afford to support yourself, and if that's the case... Uh-oh. <laughs> so, you know, I had to go live with Lee Verges, who was our tenor singer in Al Green and the Creations group. That's where we come up with the backup train. Okay. Okay. All right, I was born again in 1973. All right. I ran for three years trying to get away. I couldn't get away. So I go. had to come and confront the man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. That's right. That's right. All right. But that's the oh. truth. Now, that's, that's just the plain, simple truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your church has no problem with you, with right. you uh, <laughs> coming back to secular music? Well, I t explained to my church before I cut this album mm -hmm. and before I did the analytics to put a little love in your heart. Mm -hmm. They were saying, well, you can't do that because that's not a gospel song. I'm saying to them and to my congregation, the song, the first lines of the song says, think of your fellow man, lend him a helping hand, put a little love in your heart. And okay. on that note, I got him. Okay. You see, because... That is from the book. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then again, there's nothing wrong with love. As I said, your heart's in good hands. And if I said, baby, does that offend you? Doesn't offend me. It doesn't offend you. Well, and so I said, Christian people, if love is not the key, then I'm out of here. And if God is not love, God put somebody together, you and I, and done it him. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so, so, so if that's the case, God is the author of love between man and woman, boy and girl, love between God and man and all that. But you just warmed down with the argument. They said, okay, do it. They said, if you feel good about it and you feel confident in it and you can rely on 1 Corinthians 13th chapter, do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm give myself a hand on that. Uh, <laughs> use something else. Now. You're going to perform two more songs for us later on, right? Yeah. A couple okay. more. I can't believe yeah. you're not going to do everything. It's going to be all right. Well, I'd like to do that, but Donnie and his people on the show said I could only do so many songs. <laughs> Now, so I have to, cut gonna, at least you, 20 you albums. Get, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have done 20 albums, man. So. so you got plenty of material. Okay. Yeah, it's no. not. I'm without a slack on material, so I'd love to do them all. <laughs> we'll just have to have you come back. Well, well, hello there. My, it's been a long time. Uh, how you doing? You really want to know? Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> I guess break. I'm doing fine. <laughs> All right. Man, it's that. funny how time slips away. Uh oh. That was our last Grammy in uh, 1995. You said I had eight, but I really have nine. That's the first Grammy that I ever won in secular music really? with Lyle Lovett and really? Al Green. Oh, that's right. Only funny how time slips away. Wow. That the uh, rhythm country and rhythm country yeah. blues. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He does everything. Everything. Well, we got some more stuff coming up uh, from Al Green. We've got to go to a commercial break now. Al, just couldn't let him go. We said, you have to sit here and talk to us some more. Okay. And we want to talk about your uh, your new album, Your okay. Heart's in Good Hands. Your Heart's in Good Hands. Who yeah. helped you out with this? Uh, not on Michael Walden. Um, the Fine Young Cannibal. Um, Jodeci? Uh, Devontae Swing? Devontae Swing and Jodeci. Yeah. And... Uh, Roland and all those guys. She drives me crazy. <laughs> bang, bang. You know, those guys, yeah. So you were with it. You knew yeah. you know, what was going on. Yeah. Now, were you familiar with uh, Jodeci and Devante and, yeah. and all that? So yeah. they were, I know they're big fans of yours. Well, I'm, I, you know, I'm fans of theirs. I, I, I hear their music. Uh-huh. And Babyface and Terry and Lewis and, you know, and all those people. <laughs> yeah, I know that. 
So you keep you keep in tune with what's happening. Yeah, because I'm in the music business, see, right. so therefore I have to kind of keep in tune with what's going on in the music business because I'm in the music business. You got to be the coolest reverend in this country. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! And, uh, and to say that, not, not lightly, but not so much cool as I am trying to understand where I am mm -hmm. and what I am, who I am, I'm nobody. Where I am is I'm here at the present, at this present time. And therefore, seeing that I am nothing and I am nobody, I still strive to be a little bit better day by day. What do you mean you're nothing and nobody? Well, because I am constituted to be nothing, seeing the supreme being is higher and greater than I, and man is made a little lower than the angels, and therefore I'm constituted as nothing. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's right. So I'm not, I don't need bodyguards because I can't watch myself. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's now, right. if you take every day, just every day on a daily basis, does right. that mean you don't really look into the future? You don't say, well, maybe I'll do another album. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll, you just kind of see what happens as it happens? Um... Uh, no, my footsteps are ordered, so therefore I don't uh, try to uh, call the the uh, psychic hotline. Or... <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, because our our thing, uh, our footsteps are ordered. See, so therefore we we uh, we don't know where we're going ourselves because we're told what to do at each moment. So you don't have a path that you're you're trying to follow right now? No. 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 All of this that you've seen here happened because just because it was it supposed happened. to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what you know, I know who ordained it to happen, mm -hmm. but how it came about, I don't know. Wow. How often do you preach? Every church? Sunday oh, and I'm home and I'm home. I was home last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Spoke last Sunday, yeah. And going to be home this Sunday, speak this Sunday, yeah. Well, how often do you travel then? I'm traveling uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I go home Saturday and I speak Sunday. Right. Are you at home more than you are on the road or is it vice like versa? Uh, kind of like in the middle. Kind of like uh, right. about as much as I'm gone, I'm at home. You know, sometime I come home, my dog don't know me. Well, <laughs> whatever happens, and I right? Said, Come on, boy. <laughs> okay, then that's all right, boy. <laughs> well, you know, I told you I was, I was kind of mad at you because you weren't going to sing Everything is Going to Be All Right. However, okay. we do have it on video. Oh, go And we would like to take a look at it right now. That's the song. Go on. All right. Here it is, Al Green. Everything is going to be all right. On video song. Good night. We just want to take our time a little bit and just kind of do a, reminisce a little bit. And it makes no difference how far these songs go back into your past. They'll always mean something to me and mean something to you. Like this one.
come running to Michigan on the Detroit River we had a time to pick up a pencil and paper and wrote a song that went like this Gentlemen, show your love for Al Green performing a song written by Jodeci's Devante. This is Could This Be Love? Al Green.
Yeah. <laughs>